23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. A Kern County jury found a Tehachapi man guilty in the death of his infant son. According to court documents, on October 17th, 2018, two-month-old Abel James Norwood was taken to Kern Medical by ambulance for a fever. Once at Kern Medical, doctors discovered Abel was suffering from numerous life-threatening injuries and was flown to Valley Children's Hospital Madera via helicopter. Matthew Norwood, Abel's father, was found guilty of first-degree murder. Abel's mother, Brittany Collins, was convicted of second degree murder. They're both scheduled to be sentenced on November 18th. The mother's facing 15 years to life in prison. The father is facing 25 years to life in prison. For more information, you can head to our website, turn to 23.com. The Kern County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting at an illegal casino in Oildale. This morning, deputies were dispatched to two local to a local hospital for two victims of gunshot wounds. At the location of the shooting, deputies found evidence of the shooting as well as an illegal internet casino. Deputies served a search warrant and took evidence related to the shooting, four illegal gaming machines, a handgun, ammunition, and body armor. 22-year-old Matham Menather was arrested for resisting arrest, being a felon in possession of a firearm, and keeping a gambling premises. Deputies have not located the suspect in the shooting. Anyone with information asked to call KCSO 861-3110. With just 13 days until the election, here's some information about what's at stake in California. California has 55 electoral votes for the presidential race. The winner of the state of California gets all 55 votes. Potentially eight House of Representatives seats could switch parties for Democrats and for Republicans. More than 21 million ballots were shipped across California earlier this month. More than 71,000 people have already cast their vote here in Kern County. Well, we have another day in the 80s and then finally we're getting those fall temperatures. So fresh air, fresh air will start to move into our forecast on Friday and we'll see 60s in the forecast as early as this weekend. Sunday and Monday temperatures will drop about 10 degrees below average and this is some of the coolest air that we've seen in the last six months. So if you want to get outside, take a nice walk around 7 a.m. It'll be 60 degrees, nice, calm and cool. And we'll see these cooling temperatures as we make our way through the weekend. But our AQI for tomorrow, unhealthy for sensitive groups. We are getting closer though to that moderate range AQI of 108 for tomorrow and here's a look at your seven day forecast like I said one more day of those 80s and then Friday so um, cooling down to 78 75 on Saturday 68 on Sunday and even starting off Monday at 67. That's your latest news and weather update for the latest news anytime be sure to log on to our website turn to 23.com.